so I'm directly inside the cabin of the new Hyundai Varna and uh, as you can guys see like everything is neatly laid out here as well um, so you will get a touchscreen system infotainment system we'll talk about that a bit later but coming to the interior quality I think again the fit and finish it looks good and it feels good as well but then again these all are hard plastics here as well so no use of soft plastics but then still the look and feel is good it doesn't look cheap in this one as well as um, as in the honda city so in this varna as well the look and feel is good and the cabin also looks good so the view is better uh, because it's tilted a bit towards the driver so that's that's one good thing which the hyundai have done over here and then you'll get this wireless charging and this works well but then depends on uh, how much you use it nice little gearbox over here the gearbox is very light it's very good and uh, it's like it's one of the best in the segment and then there are two cup holders over here a usb over here 12 volt power socket and a fast charging socket as well over here automatic climate control the ac of the uh, wana is extremely good it's extremely powerful as well and uh, what else you get the steering mounted controls everything here also is good the leather stitched steering you get in the sx variant of the verna and a fully uh, digital instrument cluster you get in this one so this is also nice the ac vents are also looking very good very attractive this this the silver finish at the ends this looks good it brings in a premium feeling in the car in the cabin and then um, the door handles are also uh, like silver with silver finish these are not chrome but these are silver finish this is the sunroof this is good but still the city has a bit um, larger uh, sunroof but then this is also good this also looks good so let's explore the infotainment system of the Hyundai Varna once. So uh, I think uh, if we compare the display, um, I'll give it to the Varna. Varna has a better display on the uh, infotainment system. Uh, City Kabi, it's good. But then if you go on to comparison, then I think I'll give it to the Varna. And the quality wise, the infotainment system, uh, the display wise, uh, the Varna has a better display. And then coming to the functionality, uh, like... Uh, with both cars you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay okay. so the other things which you get on the Verna I've already told you about the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay these will be enabled once you plug in um, your uh, phone with the USB and uh, suppose right now my phone is connected with uh, Bluetooth then you'll be able to access the phone features like the contact details and then everything dialed calls receive calls miss calls i'm not going to show you those here because my phone is connected other than that um if you go to settings um similar settings you'll see in the honda city as well you can complete uh, you can uh, configure brightness blue light screen savers um and then the home screen also and dimming as well and uh this if you go to the all menus you'll find a voice memo and you'll get one feature in this which is the drvm which is like if you uh unavailable in the vehicle is part of it i'll just remove this from the park mode see so right now i'm in neutral gear but then still i'm able to see uh what's there at the back with the rear camera and this is a feature which is which you get in the sx right from the sx variant of the hyundai Varna. so it's like when you're driving then you can see uh then you can view the rear camera as well um as to what's coming behind you and uh, you can use it as you want like if you want to use it you can otherwise otherwise not so it, it's a pretty good feature to have um, in the honda city you get the lane watch camera on which you can see what's there on the left while driving but that thing is only present in the top end and you don't get that in the vx variant of the honda city but then in this sx you get this drvm so that is pretty cool um otherwise um i think that's it 
the screen quality is better in this one and uh, everything else like all the functionalities are similar so right now i'm sitting on the back seat of the hyundai Vana, and i've already discussed about the space a lot in the part one of this comparison and uh, i'll not stretch here uh, in terms of space i think honor city has uh, a clear visible margin uh, and it's a winner in terms of space but still verna uh, verna also does the job for you it, it's it's not like uh, you don't get any space in this uh, there's quite a little bit of uh, leg room available and it's sufficient for um, uh, in city travels and long travels as well but then if you um, if you have a family of maybe five um, who are traveling always like on long journeys then i think you'll prefer the honor city because that offers a um a lot more space on the rear seats as well on the front seats as well and on uh, and in the boot as well so the steering uh feel and finish uh like i think uh, both uh, offer some good finish on the steering wheels um both have leather wrapped but then uh the honda city has a better feel than the hyundai one on the steering if you compare and the honda city's uh, steering wheel is also well balanced um, I think the Verna has kept its steering very light. It's not a huge problem. I've already driven this on highways with like uh, at around 100 to 120 kmph. And uh, I felt the, uh, the the steering was light. Uh, but then uh, it, it, it was good. Like the feel was good. It was pretty much responsive. And uh, it's lighter than the Honda City's. Uh, the Honda City steering is perfectly balanced. This is a bit lighter but not a problem it won't create any problems for you so um, in terms of steering fit finish feel and responsiveness i'll give it to the honda city okay so right now i'm in the honda city and uh, let's just quickly look at the infotainment system so again in this one this this infotainment system also looks good it has a good display system it's just that the clarity of the screen and the display quality it's a bit better on the Verna and uh, similar features you get here as well android auto apple carplay um, if you connect with the usb you can um, um, look at the call logs the phone book you can uh, uh, call anyone from the screen and then in terms of applications also uh, it, it says you have to connect it with the usb so uh, in in place of applications you will get to see apple carplay or the um, android auto and uh, this this one difference which i noticed and that was that this music system is a bit tilted like this so um and and in comparison to hyundai vana hyundai vana is straight so that is one reason that in if suppose bright sunlight is coming from the back like over here then it might be possible that some part of the screen is looking uh, like it's it, it's not looking that bright and you are facing some difficulty in um, seeing what's there on the screen so that is one thing which i noticed um, while i was on a long drive on both these cars in this one you don't get a lane watch camera you only get that in the d uh, in the top end variant in terms of interior quality again i think uh, i've already told you that both the cars have hard plastics in the honda city as well you can see like these are hard plastics but then the fit finish and feel in all three parameters both cars do extremely well both cars have used like good materials in terms of fit feel and finish and uh, i think uh, both are equally rated in terms of the interior cabin quality and uh, in terms of um, high speed stability and uh, the noise levels or the nvh levels um see in terms of high speed stability both cars performed extremely well uh they were extremely stable at 120 kmph i tested both not beyond 120 just at 120 i tested and uh, both performed extremely well i was feeling very confident on the steering um and everything on both the cars so uh, i'll give a big thumbs up on uh, on that front on the uh, stability front on high speed and the noise levels uh, i think i'll give it to the honda city uh, because 
the engine sound is very uh, engine sound is very minimal in both the cars but then the outside sound or the road sound you say that is um very low in the honda city but then uh, you'll hear a bit of the road sound in the hyundai vana so that's one thing so i'll give it to the honda city but then uh, i think both cars performed extremely well on the highway i'm pretty much impressed with both and now you can see at the fit and finish of the steering wheel of the honda city this one feels a lot more smoother and uh, uh, it just feels a lot more good than uh, the hyundai vana this is a this is very smooth both are leather stitched but then the quality of this one is a lot better than the hyundai vana i find this a bit of a difference um which i observed in both the cars i'm trying to open the boot of the honda city okay just watch this it opened but apne aap lift nahi hua hai wo bilkul bhi bahut hi halka se lift hua hai and then you have to manually lift it up let's try it on the hyundai vana so here's the key i'll hold this okay you see it lifts automatically and then you just have to push it slightly just slightly and it will open is me in the honda city you have to do this manually itna karoge na if you lift this up it will automatically go down so you have to pull this up right till the end and then this will open up so this is a slight difference which i noted and i liked what the hyundai vana is doing over there and then yeah, coming to the build quality from the outside for both the cars um i didn't feel much of a difference in between both of these um you can see the door this is quite heavy okay and uh, gives you a nice third of enclosing and if i compare it with the verna now this one is also pretty heavy um and it gives you a nice third as well when closing so i think in terms of uh, the build quality both are good just uh, it's just that if you ask me to pick up one then i'll pick up the hyundai verna but otherwise both are equally uh, balanced in terms of the build quality the outside uh, body build quality so uh this is the mid variant the sx variant of the verna which costs you 12.25 on road and this is the mid variant of the honda city uh vx variant which costs you 14 lakhs on road so there's a price difference of 1.75 lakhs in between the two but then the verna surprisingly comes out with a hell lot of features in it let's let's just quickly explore the additional features which you are getting So first up is this rear sunshade which you get in the Hyundai Vana um and this is really very helpful Secondly you get a hell lot of chrome on the whole Vana like um you get the outer door handles which are chrome you get a chrome lid over here on all four windows you get this front in chrome you get to see this chrome on the boot lid as well and then this is chrome lining over here also on the rear bumper and this gives your car a pretty good look then you get a cooled glove box as well in the Hyundai Vana you can see that nice little vent over there and then you also get a sunglass holder over here which you don't get in the Honda City you get a sliding armrest you see this is pretty useful as well because when you're driving um with this position you'll hardly rest your arm over here but then if this slides then yes this helps and then you get these cornering lamps on the Hyundai Vana which helps you increase the visibility 
um, on the corners. Wireless charging over here. And then um, you get the DRVM as well. Like the rear view, you can see while driving. So nice little um, add-on over there as well. And then you have a nice little feature with the Hyundai Vana for your trunk. If you come here, stand here with your keys, the trunk opens up automatically. That's the smart trunk feature. That's that's a nice little add-on as well on the Hyundai Vana. And uh, finally coming to the right quality and comfort and the suspension. I've already told you guys in the previous video that the suspension is kept a bit stiff on the Hyundai Vana and it's softer on the Honda City. But then it depends on individuals like if they want uh, or if they prefer or if they like the soft suspension more or if they like the stiff suspension more. So for me, I liked driving both equally. Um, but uh, I think for a driver's point of view, I think uh, I'll give it to the Verna again because the right quality which I got from the Verna, uh, only from the driver's point of view I'm saying, it's better in the Verna because the suspension is a bit stiff. It's not that soft so you won't feel those jerks or bumps at all. Um, in the soft suspension though, the car moves a bit um, and that is the reason that I didn't like uh, or I'm giving it to uh, the Verna in this one. But if you come to the back seat comfort of the right quality, then uh, Honda City is a clear winner again. Um, on, on both the cars on long journeys, I asked my family as well on which car they prefer sitting on in the back seat. They were clear on this and they said the Honda City is a clear winner in this. They felt the bumps and the jerks way less in the Honda City uh, and they felt them a bit more in the Hyundai Vana so that's it that that's the take uh, from from me or from um, the reviews I got from the family otherwise you guys can go ahead and test drive both the vehicles with your family and then you can decide on which suspension you are liking the more so I've driven both for about 200 kilometers on highway and uh, the amount of uh, energy you get from the Hyundai Vana engine is more than what you get from the Honda City it, and I'm only talking about the lower RPMs like on the second gear the, on the second gear there's a bit of lag which you will feel in the in the, in the Honda City but there's no lag at all in the Hyundai Verna whatever power you want you'll get that in the Verna but uh, in city you'll have to wait just a tiny little bit of time um, and and you'll, you'll have to give it time to deliver that power which you want but in the Hyundai Verna you'll get the power as soon as you want it. So I I enjoy driving the Verna more. In terms of engine performance as well, both perform extremely well. Mileage, um, this one gave me, the Verna gave me about 20 kmpl um, for 200 kilometers which I drove. Um, and the Honda City gave me about 21 kmpl in the 200 kilometers which i drove and i drove both these vehicles at not at not more than 100 kilometers per hour so on an average i drove these at 80 kilometers per hour both the vehicles and this one gave me 20 this one gave me 21.2 or 3 something um for 200 kilometers which i drove and both are highway figures please don't compare them with the city uh, figures i uh, I reset them when I reached the highway um, and then I uh, took the mileage. So both are only highway mileages. I, and I drove both of them very softly. I didn't go hard on the vehicles. I didn't rev the engines too much. And uh, the average speed was 80 kilometers per hour. So in between 60 to 100 I drove. And uh, pretty good mileage from both the cars. So that's it guys. Uh, please post your comments uh, or questions in the comment section. and. Uh, I'll get back to you on those as well. I hope you liked the video and uh, if there's anything left, I'm sorry for that. Please post in the comment section and I'll try to cover that in one more video. Thank you for supporting and please like, share and subscribe. That really helps the channel. Thank you.